Hello my compadres, Brian the Boat here and today we will be talking about the new customization that has arrived in Mortar Tanks PS4 for the crew system. Now if you're asking what can they improve with the crew or what new changes has arrived uh, with the new crew system, well now you can change the voices, um, what they look like and the gender of the crew. So. For me, to be honest with you, I don't know why they didn't add that in the first place. I'm not sure if that's the same feature in the PC model of War of Tanks, but last time I checked, uh, when I was watching someone playing War of Tanks on a PC, um, whatever tank they were playing for um, their respected nation, the captain or the commander of that tank would be speaking the language of that tank from that nation. Uh, but now, uh, I feel like this is just a, a you know a gimmick for uh, you know wargaming to get money more money from us. But I assume I assume that you can buy different languages um, if you wanted to um, from you know regular currency like silver instead of gold. Um, but obviously everything here is practically bought with gold if you wanted to if you wanted to progress. Um, but you can change the uh, the names of the uh, of the captain as well. Um, I will not change the name of the captain because I don't. I'm I'm generic. I'll probably go for Suck Master 99 or something. Uh, but it's really cool. Um, not only can you change the gender, uh, but you can also change the face of the captain. Um, I'm not sure if that was a feature either. Um, but you can change the look of the, you know um, of the of the commander. So right now I'm on the um, I'm I'm on the VK 36.01. Um, pretty sure it's what it is. Let me let me make sure I speak. Yes, VK 36. 0.01 okay there you go awesome so my bad um but also one thing to note is that through july 6th and july 16th you can get 20 free customizable options uh war chances for you to customize however you would like so let me show you the um the voices that are in this game that's a lot of voices so right now you have the default um which is practically the english so i want to give you some time to listen to it Then you have the um, English for the UK. On to victory. Let's do this. Legen wir los. Germany. Los geht's. Los geht's. Japan. You got them. Yours. You got them. On to victory. Chinese, which I really don't get Let's because go. really what it is is just you know out. English, but I don't know why they're not speaking you know Let's Chinese instead down. of you know English. I don't I don't get it. Let's do this. You got the French. Russian. It's my favorite one, actually. Um, Italy. Spanish for um, the Spaniards. Spanish, um, you know, that has to do with the uh, Central American style, Latin America, Spanish. This one I actually have um, equipped to this tank, and you're probably going to ask yourself, Brian, why do you have a, a Spanish commander in a German tank? Why not? I, I like the voice of it. Just listen to me. Vamos. It's, it's pretty cool. Then you got Polish, and then you got one more slide. You got Portuguese. Yeah, uh, Portuguese. Portuguese. I can't, I can't pronounce it. Forgive me. Then you have Korean. And finally, you have Turkish. So really, I feel like it's a somewhat of a nice touch that Wargaming has given us this day. Uh, you know, the change, you know, the looks of our captains. The voice is actually, I feel like, the, the better... Um, addition to this because really if they didn't add the voices I mean it would be okay I mean I guess but for me I'm really into the whole voice thing I wish they would add that to blitz because I love playing blitz I feel like I'm a better player on blitz than on uh, ps4 because if you've ever seen any of my live streams of me playing one of the tanks uh, on the you know console edition I'm not very good I'm very 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 bad but I know what I'm talking about. When 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 it seems like I don't, uh, trust me, I, I do know what I'm talking about. So I'm not full of bull. Um, I know what I'm talking about because I have a lot of experience from War of Tanks Blitz. 
Um, I believe I have three tier nines. It's the um, E75, the E50, and the Leopard. Um, and also, I could have gotten the ST1, but see, I don't have money for the ST1. The ST1 is over like three million credits, and um, right now um, I have over two million. So if I chose to, I could possibly buy the ST1 once I gain a little bit more, you know, credits, and that'll be fine. But if I do have enough, and by the time I finish um, getting up to the IS, not the IS-6, but um, I forgot which tank, let me, let me uh, check right now, because uh, you, you, I can actually see, but um, I was, I was, I'm trying to go up the IS-3 rank right now, I'm trying to go for the Russians right now, the Soviet Union, um, but let me see here, so I'm trying to go up to the IS-3, so if I go up the IS-3, that will bring me to the T-10? No, that's not what it's called. I don't think it's. I, I think in Blitz it's called something else. But I, it's um. I don't. I forgot what it is. Well, there goes there goes my uh, my credibility where I know what I'm talking about. Well, that was garbage. Well, <laughs> I feel bad now. But I do. I do know what I'm talking about. So, I, in some ways, I know the battle tactics. It's just that it's a little difficult here. So. Um, again, I feel like the um, the crew system, the new you know additions that they added to the game are nice. Although I would have wished they've already been here in the first place instead of us having to buy them, um, you know, already added. Maybe um, they would have added it like this, but you know, I don't want to hear you know the, the generic voice of of uh, of PS4 again because like it's it's not that fun. I mean, if you hear it for a very long time, you're gonna be like, Ugh. I mean. I, I don't like it. I wish they had like the the base commander voice for each nation. You know, each different nation has different voices. You know, like off start, you don't have to buy anything. If you want to change, you know, if I like if I wanted to have the um, the Spanish um, commander in my VK 36.01H, then I can buy it. I could have had a choice to do that instead of me, you know, having to deal with the generic, um, you know, um, base. Uh, voice that they give us on you know in the ps4 console edition of water tanks instead of you know like pc um then i think that would be good i think that'd be good but again i feel like this is just you know a little scheme that wargaming is trying to get more money from us and obviously you know i think you can agree with me that wargaming loves money i mean everyone does who doesn't love money but wargaming likes doing a little little thing called giving us something that should have already been there in the first place kind of like what ea does uh, but either way, I don't want to give uh, Wargaming too much flack. It's a good game. Of it. Like, I like War of Tanks. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't be playing it. Well, that being said, I'm very bad at War of Tanks console. But I'm very good at War of Tanks Blitz. So I continue playing that game. That is, if my iPad wasn't broken. But right now it is. So um, Tell me in the comments down below which um, version of War of Tanks do you prefer. The console edition, the Blitz version, or the regular PC version, the very first version of War of Tanks. For my opinion, I think PC version is like one of the difficult ones because you can't, you don't know where to shoot, you know, it's all based on skill and remembering where the weak spots on the tank is, so. I, I, I personally like Blitz because it's easier, it's uh, faster, the grind is easier because the name itself, Blitz, just tells you everything about the game. It's fast, it's easy, and really fun. Um, like, even for those of you who might say, oh, it's not, it, you know, it's easy, so it's not gonna be fun. It is gonna be fun. It's, it's fun. It's awesome. Like, I love it. I, it's such a great game. I, I think I spent over $100 on that sucker. I, like, I bought the E25 when it went, uh, on sale, you know, for the first time on that, uh, platform. And then I bought the, um, AT-15A. It's a great tank. Great, great, great tank. I love it. I love it. It's a very, very hold down, um, tank destroyer from the British... Um, very good armor, just fantastic. The only weak points on that sucker is the, um, Kapala. Um, but it, I, with the new, um, you know, the system where, you know, you can upgrade stuff. Um, if you are able to upgrade to, you get, like, 5%, um, armor and hull, um, you know, armor, you know, percentage, it goes higher than, um, the Kapala, I believe, um, uh, for what I've seen, um, gets that buff, too. And if you get that buff... It's gonna be really difficult for your um, enemies to try to penetrate you. So it's really good, really good. So um, yeah, th this was the update. Um, I, I like again. I, I feel like it's it's pretty decent. Should have been here in the first place, but you know, tell me in the comments down below what you think about this new update. 
Um, that's all I have to say about this. So thank you everyone for watching this video. And if you liked it, give it a like, support the Red Guard. And this is Brand the Bold signing out. Stay bold out there. Ciao.